Hello, this is Amy from Lux and welcome to our series on what you didn't know about Rome, Piazza Navona and Campo dei Fiori. Piazza Navona actually started its life as an athletic stadium. The Emperor Domitian ordered its construction in the first century AD. Many people think it was like a circus like Circus Maximus, but absolutely not. It retained its form, it retained its shape until it was redone by a Pope called Innocent X Pamphili, who wanted to make this the new hub of Rome for its citizens. He commissioned the famous artist Bernini to create the fountain called the Fountain of the Four Rivers. Now the Four Rivers was to express the strength of the Catholic Church in the four known corners of the earth at that time in the 1600s. In order to represent South America and indeed the Americas, Bernini carved an armadillo. Now you can see this creature here, it doesn't really look much like an armadillo but the thing is that Bernini had never been to South America, he didn't know what it looked like, so this was his best guess. So here I am in Campo dei Fiori, one of the most famous places in Rome. Now translated into English, it means the field of flowers, but it's not because of the flowers that are sold here. It's because it was one of the few squares that wasn't actually covered with cobblestones for many, many years. And so they called it the Campo dei Fiori. Nonetheless, it's been the central market area since the 1800s. Now this statue here that marks the meeting spot of all of the locals, people say, will come and meet here in the very center and the front of the statue of Giordano Bruno. He was a Dominican friar who was burned at the stake here in the year 1600 for his revolutionary scientific views that the earth actually revolved around the sun. Now another thing you probably didn't know about Campo dei Fiori is it actually built on the remainder of what we call the Theatre of Pompey that was built in the first century AD. Now just behind Campo dei Fiori we see some of the things that have remained from that time, namely some ruins but also a theatre here in this location. So we hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below and check out our website. Looking forward to seeing you soon in Bella Roma.